good evening friends as dbas uh, of a particular organization different organizations have different set of policies in terms of databases uh, and naming conventions and conventions standards uh, so uh, as dbas uh, we need to adhere to certain policies and uh, also grant and allow at the same time audit uh, if the policies uh, implemented policies uh, are working and, and all the developers and the users are adhering to it now to do so the most of important challenge that arises is when a, a particular user has the access uh, to particular uh, server and database and then with this access does some mistake uh, which we would call uh, 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 an accidental uh, accidental one which by which i mean uh, a person tries to alter a production table uh, in, uh, or a person uh, accidentally uh, drops a particular table uh, by using a UI or, or, or whichever means all these things uh, are you know in, in production a, a great risk or a hazard to a particular database object now without uh, a particular auditing mechanism or, or a policy in place to prevent uh, so uh, from, from, from uh, you know taking place uh, we would be left in a bizarre uh, situation so to be able to implement such scenarios in in a very custom uh, uh, DBA world you would use what is called triggers uh, uh, triggers uh, form a very important aspect both in terms of implementing a certain implementing certain policy uh, then also uh, preventing some accidents uh, to occur and uh, uh, triggering some uh, some particular message of a custom message so here in this session we are going to see triggers of the first level that is a server or database a definition level so whenever you create we create any definition we create a table we create a stored proc or create a database uh, we are uh, such accidental errors like create drop uh, or alter can be you know customized policy uh, uh, used under a, uh, under a policy with the help of the DDL triggers, it's called data definition uh, triggers. Uh, data definition triggers are slightly different from uh, the data manipulation triggers, uh, uh, which is for insert, update, delete of certain objects, uh, uh, tables. Uh, uh, the difference lies in, in, in the within uh, uh, criteria, which is like uh, in DML triggers, you would have the after or for uh, uh, triggers and then also the instead of triggers which uh, makes it of two kinds but in, in a, a, a custom DDL trigger you would only have a, what is an after trigger there is no instead of uh, in in a DDL trigger and also the output clause by which uh, I mean I mean generally in DML triggers you, you would you would use uh, the inserted deleted uh, options uh, to actually capture uh, the data uh, that's not there in the DDL triggers uh, so what we will be looking at here is how uh, uh, is as an example how we can uh, you know prevent uh, or, or implement a policy uh, so we would look to implement a policy with the help of DDL triggers what we uh, as an example would see is uh, uh, we will try to uh, prevent any procedures that is being created uh, in a particular uh, database we would try to prevent uh, that procedure from being altered uh, or created until and unless it's it's uh, having a USP underscore uh, appended or, or prefixed I mean if for any procedure that is being created should uh, it, it should be having any user procedure should should follow a USP underscore prefix uh, and then the actual name whatever it is get details or get transaction so so the name should be something like this uh, we will implement this policy for every user so that any user who tries to create a procedure should be able uh, should not be able to create until unless it for he, he or she follows this guidelines so let's start uh, to create this procedure and at the same time in this in this trigger we would try to track uh, what uh, what the user uh, has actually tried uh, what was the script that was executed uh, while creating uh, the trigger so to do so let's just create a table uh, with the name uh, audit uh, 
proc audit right so we say proc name 500 and, and then we say proc definition I can raise it to max but for now I just keep it to 2000 so I just create this table on in my works DB next we'll start to create the trigger and see trg underscore proc policy let's just have it and we say on the database and then we say uh, all alter procedure or create procedure so this this would be you know fired for alter and create and then we start we declare to capture the event data uh, function we declare a, a variable with event data this uh, data type will be XML and then we set the event uh, data to the event data function now before I uh, move forward let me just try to explain what uh, what event data function is so uh, even data function is, is actually uh, triggered or, or referenced directly uh, while uh, creating a, a DDL trigger necessarily and, and this returns you an XML, XML set of uh, data uh, which is uh, the definition of which can be you know uh, noticed in your while installation of any SQL server you will have events.xst installed uh, in the bin folders uh, subsequent build, bin folders of the installation so so the uh, the definition of, of uh, this xml is, is stored in there in the events.xsd and uh, this is an xml uh, for 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 uh, other details i think you can uh, refer the msdn uh, which will uh, give you the details of exactly uh, uh, every detail of what data is being returned uh, so for now just keep it uh, that the event has event data function has the details of the events that is uh, that is you know uh, fired from within the DDL trigger. Uh, now let's try to first insert the data. Insert into we call it the the table that we had created. Proc audit. And we let's select uh, the name. Name and we say. definition name as we call it proc name and then we have the proc definition Call the SQL module table. We call it the module on EJ ID.
and then we'll trace out the event data data dot value for the name so we will say event instance object we call it object name and then we say one Let's also select the name this right. once this is done we simply try to extract the string of name 1 comma 4 and see if it matches underscore so we just trying to see and then So this is our trigger that we have created. Uh, first, we uh, we will insert uh, the script in this table, and and secondly, if if a person tries to create the wrong, so we are auditing at as well as uh, creating a policy. So let's create this trigger. try to see where have we messed up right yes right so the trigger is created now let's try to create a simple proc Do we have this? Let's select any table. Okay, we have a table. to I think we missed we have to roll back this transaction also absolutely now if we try to create this trigger without uh, the USP you get this error you get this error saying that your stored procedure should mandatory start with USP. 
and next if we try to and the trigger never gets created now if we try to put it in the proper naming convention and then fire it your trigger is created at the same time if we select it from our logging table where we have actually audited uh, TBL proc audit you see also the definition you see the proc that was created and also proc's definition that was uh, you know created so here uh, in this example I've shown you two things I have, I've shown you to also implement a policy uh, such that all the procedures are created and altered uh, should only have this uh, table uh, I mean procedure name starting with USB underscore user defined procedure at the same time uh, also I am auditing uh, or, uh, or keeping the details of the procedure that are created in this TBL proc audit from my reference uh, in the next uh, video uh, we would uh, take this to the next level where we would we would you know uh, implement a auditing policy where we would see any person who tries uh, to create a particular table uh, uh, I mean who, who tries to drop or, or, or alter a particular table uh, is, is not allowed to do so uh, and also we track down his user IDs and other details in, 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 a, in one of these kind of audit tables so we will see that in the next session.